the gospel reflection of the day from the congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. As the day begins, listen, reflect and live the word of God, the best food ever for the soul. Beloved in Christ, welcome to today's Reflection, Wednesday 24th, July 2024, the 16th week in Ordinary Time. Today we shall reflect on the theme, The Seed That Is Sown. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 13, Verses 1 to 9. Jesus left the house and sat by the lakeside, but such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat there. The people all stood on the shore, and he told them many things in parables. He said, Listen. A sower went out to sow. As he sowed, some seeds fell on the edges of the path, and the birds came and ate them up. Others fell on patches of rock, where they found little soil and sprang up at once, because there was no depth of earth. But as soon as the sun came up, they were scorched, and not having any root, they withered away. Others fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Others fell on rich soil and produced their crop, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Anyone who has ears should listen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Matthew 13 is the third of the five major speeches of Jesus in this Gospel. It is made up of seven parables that sharpen the attention of the listeners on a point. Through the parable of today's Gospel, Jesus teaches something about the kingdom of God and invites those listening to him to respond. The efforts of the sower stands out, but it is actually the fate of the seed and the soil that are the main points of the story. There are four types of sowing in four types of soils, but in each of them the aim is that the seed should grow and yield more seed. Unfortunately, the first three types of sowing and soils yield no fruits. This can be discouraging as the whole exercise seems to be a waste of time and seed. However, there is hope. The story shows that for each of the seeds that bears fruit, it is in abundance, a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. In the ministry of Jesus, there are many moments of resistance and outright opposition to his teaching. It looks like failure in those areas. He has many reasons to give up, however, he continues because the word that he proclaims is already bearing fruit in some hearts, and this in turn will produce further fruit in many more lives. The full efforts of the word of Jesus cannot be underestimated. Jesus' disciples still feel it today as they continue to sow his word among other people when they open their hearts to this word. Even the most important thing begins in little and at times in significant ways. Let us pray. Dear Lord, help us to be like the good soil, 
where your words can grow and flourish, producing a bountiful harvest of love, joy, and service to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be Jesus Christ. God bless us all. You've been listening to the Gospel Reflection for today from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. Remember to listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for this world.